In the adding content section we'll look at a number of key subjects but before adding anything to your poster you need to understand a little about the way your content types, the text and the images actually behave. Fundamentally most images and text are quite different. Generally speaking text is what's known as a vector graphic and most images are pixel based. This makes a huge difference to how you can actually use them. Vector graphics, so most text, are mathematically defined. That means when you scale a vector graphic, the computer software actually redraws it from scratch. This results in a perfectly sharp graphic every time. We'll have a look at that in Photoshop in just a moment. Pixel-based graphics, on the other hand, file formats such as JPEG, PNG, GIF and TIFF, are made up of a grid of pixels. Enlarging a pixel-based image makes the pixels larger, therefore more visible. If we have a look at a pixel-based image first, we've got a 40 by 40 pixel sized image here. If I actually make that larger, you can actually then see all of the individual pixels that make that image up. However, if we look at text, and I scale my text, we don't actually lose any quality because as I'm doing this Photoshop, and in your case when you're using PowerPoint, will redraw that image. What this means in practice for you is that when you add text to your poster using a font tool such as the text box tool, it's not actually that important to get the size right to start with. You can quite easily scale it up or down without any quality issues. However, when it comes to adding images, you have to get the sizing right. Essentially, you need to make sure that the pixel dimensions of your image are right to start with. We'll look at how to do that in a following video, and some simple rules of thumb and example calculations will help you make the correct decisions about your images.